And the woman came out and she was obviously in labour. So what to do? So I phoned a friend, asked her to come and doula and take over the kids. And she said she would. And what to do? Well, there was the van, but anyway, we went into the back bedroom, went into the spare bedroom. And um, I got all my stuff back in from the car into my own back, my own spare bedroom. And there she had the baby. <laughs> and it was lovely. It was absolutely delicious. My husband, um, her mother, had, they had tried to connect, to contact the mother to come and take the children, and they hadn't been able to contact her. But um, my friend came and doulaed and looked after the children, and then her mother and father turned up after the baby was born. And my husband had made a huge big spaghetti bolognese, and um, we all sat around our kitchen table and uh, had our supper about midnight. It was lovely. How it should be. It was. There's all these um, phrases that I suggest a woman learn. One, of course, is, thank you so much for your advice, Mr. High and Mighty. We'll think about it very carefully and let, her, let you know our decision. And the other one is, uh, would you like to reconsider what you've just said, Mr. High and Mighty, or Nurse Simister? <clears throat> And the other one is, I'm afraid I shall have to regard any further discussion as harassment. And then, to be used in extremists is, stop that at once. And that was used against me by a woman to whom I'd taught it. And I'd been making a vagina examination <coughs> and got too enthusiastic. And she said, stop that at once, Mary. And I did. And I learned a lesson. Uh, yes. So the lesson in all of that is that women should... And should feel able to say, stop that at once. Yeah. Yes. Take control. Yes. It was... And uh, I got far too enthusiastic. <laughs>